Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. This video is about legacy iOS kit. So we will discuss and see how we can use it to downgrade our legacy devices. Legacy iOS kit is completely free and we are at its official GitHub page. So as you can see in the about section that it is an all in one tool to restore downgrade, save SH, SH blocks and jailbreak your legacy ios devices it has a lot of features and it is supported on linux and mac os you can read about its features you can also use it to restore or downgrade your a5 and a6 devices to 6.1.3 or 8.4.1 without blobs you can also restore some 32-bit devices also without blobs you can also install ipf files on all your devices on linux of course you can save sh sh blobs you can save onboard and cdia sh sh blobs for all your 32-bit devices you also have data management and device operations options which includes the backup and restore mount device erase device or export data battery info shut down restart the device and pair device it is also possible to downgrade some of your 64-bit devices like iphone 5s 6 sc and so on and these ipads with sh sh blobs you can also restore or downgrade your legacy devices as you can see them right here with blobs you can also jailbreak them downgrading to ios 16.6.x with sh sh blobs is also supported on these devices moreover you can tethered downgrade some of the following devices as you can see them right here including iphone 5 4s iphone 4 and these ipads and so on we will also test to downgrade our ipad mini 1 to ios 8.4.1 which you can see is supported now simply from the official github page for legacy ios kit when you scroll down you will see releases these are the latest releases available and you can see it is available for mac os and linux so i am on linux it is xubuntu or ubuntu 22.04 so i will use this file linux x8664 so simply get this zip file first to your computer as you can see i already got this file to my pc so simply right click and then extract here and you will get this folder simply open it then right click then open a new terminal here inside this folder now at this point connect your supported device via usb then drag and drop the restore.sh file into the terminal and press enter now simply type in your linux password if you are doing this for the first time the good thing is that it will automatically install all the dependencies you don't have to do anything and then once complete you will simply rerun the command and you will see this menu you can see my device is an ipad mini 1 its ios version and you can see we have options to restore downgrade jailbreak device save sh sh blobs install ipa app management data management device operations and some other utilities which you can use you can also reinstall the dependencies if the legacy ios kit is not working properly it is also possible as an option to install any ipa file on any of your devices so you can simply run and you'll find an option to install ipa as you can see it right here simply select it then select ipa now simply select an ipa hit ok then from here select install ipa on your device hit trust and then hit enter on the terminal then simply put in your apple id and then it will ask you for the password so please put it in and then simply press enter and you will see that the app you selected 
will be installed to your device in no time. All right, as you can see, the app is now on device and the process has succeeded. Also, if you are doing this for the first time, don't worry, it will install some dependencies automatically and will let you install any IPA file in no time. All right, so now let's try to downgrade our iPad mini one to 8.4.1. So I will simply select restore slash downgrade. And you can see we have the option to downgrade to 8.4.1. The options can change depending on the device which is connected. So you can update or restore to the latest version. You can also downgrade tethered and so on. So I will select 8.4.1. Now you can simply select the target IPSW or you can simply let the tool to download the target IPSW for you. So you can use either option. If you want to download the IPSW yourself, you can go to IPSW.me, simply select your device and then you can simply get the IPSW for your device from here to your PC. Make sure that the identifier is correct. You can match the identifier from here so that you get the correct IPSW. So I will select the IPSW. I already use the tool, so it is already showing up here, but you can open the file picker and choose the IPSW. Simply press enter and the process should start. All right, now you can simply select start restore and press enter. Now, if you select no from here and you don't jailbreak your device right away with the downgrade, you can always jailbreak it later with tools like Avid Pawnage, which support all versions from iOS 8 to 9.0.2 with an untethered jailbreak. So this time I will select no and the process should start. Now at this point, simply jailbreak your device using the guides from the description. After a successful jailbreak, you will see Cydia on your home screen. Simply open it. Now simply hit search here, then search for package called open SSH. All right. Simply now select it and install this package. Confirm. Once complete, now you can simply return to Cydia. Go back home and now lock your device. Now once open SSH, is installed and you have locked the device press enter now simply type in the ssh password which is a l p i n e don't worry you will not see it but it is typed press enter and the process now should begin now you can simply unplug and plug your device again and the process should begin so please wait here now you can see the process will continue. This can take some time. So please sit back and relax until the downgrade process is complete. You'll see that your screen of your device is green, which means that the process is proceeding correctly. All right, as you can see, it is now sending the file system. All right, as you can see it right here, the process is now near completion. And now you can see the downgrade process is complete, restore succeeded. The device will now restart and after setting it up, I will show you the version and everything. And you can see it right here that I have connected my downgraded device to iTunes. You can see its version. It is the same device. It is an iPad 2.5, which is an iPad mini one. And you can also see it in 3O tools. It is on 8.4.1 now. So likewise, you can use the iOS downgrade kit or legacy iOS kit to downgrade almost all of your supported devices, 64-bit, 32-bit, and there is so much less hassle using this tool. That's all for this video, guys. If you still have questions, please ask them in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.